What are you at ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lycos and this is my No Man's Sky ship guide. In this video I'm going to show you how to get the best ships in the game and how to upgrade them so you can have an absolutely amazing ship. Now first off, let's talk about the types of ships. There's several different types of ships in No Man's Sky. There's fighters, solar ships, haulers, explorers, interceptors, and shuttles. Now this is some of my favorite ships from my collection. And really quick, let's talk about some of the differences there are in the types of ships. Now fighters, interceptors, and solar ships are going to be a little bit better for space battles because they have better maneuverability. Haulers and shuttles have a little better shields and have more inventory capacity. And then the base version of the explorers are a little bit better for warping from system to system. Now these small differences from the ships aren't really a big deal. No Man's Sky is definitely not a game where you need to be min-maxing your ship. I'd recommend just finding the ship that you like the look of the most and going with that one. Not to mention you can own up to 12 ships at a time and then switch between them whenever you want. There are also exotic ships in the game. These are always S-Class. These ships have very good overall stats, but they don't really excel at anything. Now another thing to consider when you're choosing a ship is that the Solar Ship and the Interceptor Ship have some really cool animations when you're taking off and landing. And the solar ships also have a cool animation where they bring out their big solar sails when you leave the planet and go out into space. Also the solar ships have a unique component which allows them to recharge your engines over time. Now the biggest impact that you're going to see on the performance of your ship is with the upgrades. There are three different places that you're going to want to be checking out in order to get upgrades for your ship. One of them is on the anomaly and you can get a lot of useful components here. Most notably, it has a bunch of different ship weapons for you to choose from, and then it also has other stuff like upgrades for your warp engines, which allow you to warp to different types of systems, and a whole bunch more. Of course, you can also get upgrades on the space station. This is where you can buy your C, B, A, and S class upgrades. S class, of course, being the best that you can get on the space stations. You can get upgrades that enhance your warp drive, weapons, shields, pretty much any of the components that you have on your ship. The upgrades that you can buy here, you can have three of one type on your ship. You're going to want to connect them directly to the component that you want to enhance. If you make sure to have it in a slot that's right next to the component, you'll get a bonus, but you got to make sure that you don't have any more than three, because if you install more than three of the same type of upgrade, they will all stop working. Another thing to keep in mind when you're installing upgrades is to use your supercharge slot to give that upgrade a nice boost. This works with a lot of upgrades, but I especially like it for the weapons. By the way, if you're looking for a really good ship weapon, I highly recommend the Infra Knife. I use it on almost all of my ships, and it's extremely powerful. Also here on the space station, you can upgrade the storage on your ship and the class of the ship. It does take a lot of units and a lot of nanites in order to do this, but you can also scrap ships here, and then if you're lucky, you can get some storage augmentations from them, which you can use to then upgrade the storage on your ship for free, and you can also get upgrades from ships that you scrap as well. Now another great place where you can get some extremely good upgrades is in an outlaw system. You need to go to the outlaw space station, and there is a vendor there that will sell you suspicious upgrades. These upgrades have a chance to be the best upgrades in the game, but it is a bit of a gamble and you will definitely get more bad upgrades than you will get good upgrades. But if you buy enough of these, you're eventually going to get the best upgrades in the game. You're most likely going to need a lot of nanites in order to buy enough suspicious upgrades to get a good one. So especially early on in the game, you're definitely better off going with S-Class until you've acquired a large surplus of nanites. Now let's talk about the methods that I use to hunt down the best ships in the game. There are two methods that I use all of the time in order to get some amazing ships. Number one, you're either going to want to go to an outlaw system or a three-star economy system. Find yourself a trading outpost, which you can easily find by having the economy scanner, which you can get on the anomaly. Install that onto your ship, and then you can use that in the system to find a trading outpost. There are other ways to find trading outposts, but this is by far the easiest way. So then all I do is just go down to the trading outpost, hang out there, and watch the ships coming and going. Ships fly in and out of trading posts more often than anywhere else, and this is a great way to find S-Class and exotic ships. And last up, another one of my favorite ways to hunt ships is to go after one of the newest ships in the game, the Sentinel Interceptor. These can be found in Desonant Systems on Desonant's planets. There's a couple of different ways to find these ships, 
but a great way, especially for newer players, is to go to the Desolate's planet, land, destroy some of the corrupted sentinels that are on the planet, and eventually they will drop an echo locator. Then if you use this, it's gonna send you to a camp. You're gonna be able to use the terminal there, figure out a little puzzle, and then you're gonna locate a Desonant Spike. Once you do that, it's gonna lead you straight to an Interceptor. These are crash ships, which are very easy to repair. You can get everything you need on the planet, and they're some of the coolest looking and best ships in the game. Farming and scrapping these Interceptor ships is also a great way to get units and nanites. If you wanna farm Interceptors really fast, in the camp where you use the terminal, just make sure you make a base there before you leave, and then you can return back to the terminal and use it over and over again. This way, instead of having to get another echo locator, we're basically skipping all of that, and then we just use the terminal to find a new interceptor. For farming any other type of ship, I recommend sticking to trading outposts. So you're just gonna land at the trading outpost, check out the ships that are coming and going for a few minutes, and if you don't see a ship that you like, you can move on to another system and do the same thing there. Find a trading outpost using your economy scanner and then hang out at that trading post watching the ships coming and going. Now if you're looking for a solar ship, I recommend sticking to outlaw systems because that's where I most commonly see these types of ships. You can find them in other systems but I see them a lot more often in outlaw systems. Outlaw systems also have the highest chance of having S class ships but they also have a really good chance of having C class as well so it's kind of two extremes. But if you're specifically looking for S-Class ships, an Outlaw system is probably the way to go. Now if you're looking for exotic ships, you can find those in any of the systems, but you're only going to find one exotic ship per system. So once you find the exotic ship for that system, if it's not the exotic ship that you're looking for, you might as well move on to another system and wait until you find one there. It can take a long time to find an exotic ship, just depends on how lucky you are. But again, the trading post is your best bet. You can, of course, stay in a space station or even in your own freighter and watch the ships coming and going. But in my experience, the trading post is the best. Now, a new feature that not a lot of people know about is that you can transfer power between different systems. For instance, you can transfer power to the weapons, shields, engines, or have a balance between all three. This comes in handy, especially when you're in space battles, and it really does make a difference. You switch between these by pressing up on the D-pad on controllers, and on keyboard, the default is question mark or forward slash, which is right next to the right shift. I hope you guys got some useful information out of this video. If you want to check out more of my No Man's Sky guides, there's a couple on the screen right now. Thank you all for watching, and as always, stay where you're at, and I'll come where you're too. Later, everyone.